So often in ZBrush, you may want to 3D print an object which is too large to fit inside your printer. And in this case, you need to cut your print into multiple pieces and then key them so you can fit the two together afterwards and then glue them back. But you do want them to come back uh, to sit together consistently. In order to do that, we need to create keys. So in this instance, I have two separate meshes here. They're just, they've got flat planes on them and nothing else uh, where I want to connect the two. And this is where I will be hiding the connection. So they're basically just normal DynaMesh objects. One name top and one name bottom. In order to connect the two together, we're going to use a cube. So I'm just going to append a cube, but in this, and I'll rename this to mail. Uh, I do, however, want to change this to have fewer polygons. So I'm going to scroll down to the initialize tab, initialize roll up down here and change this to Q cube. We'll go into solo mode to have a look at this and I'll turn on the Z modeler brush and holding down alt, remove some of these extra loops to simplify it even more. Now that we have that, we can go into transparent mode so we can see this in relation to the other objects. I'm going to move it by pressing W and holding up and I'm going to scale this down so it fits inside our model. And you can see that fits inside the handle. We do, however, need it to overlap slightly this lower piece down here. So when I select this again, I'm just going to make sure that this overlaps slightly over that this edge. Now that we have that, we can go to the deformers and choose taper and we just taper this in a little bit. So because we only have one loop or we, we don't have that those middle loops this will taper in nicely on both front and back so we can accept that and say that that's our male piece now done and um, obviously we need a female piece so i'm going to duplicate that and we'll rename this one to female and this female piece will be slightly larger than the male so as i toggle between the two you'll see the one is slightly smaller or slight and slightly larger than the other so the female part I'm going to remove from the top piece. So I'm going to put that to subtractive mode and I'm going to turn on the live boolean here. The male is also going to have live boolean on, but its piece is going to be added to it. So we don't need to change this. Now all we need to do is turn on live boolean. I'll turn off transparency, I'll zoom out and we'll hit the make boolean mesh. And you'll see once these are calculated that a new tool will appear up here. And this new tool here has both of these pieces cut out from them or added to them. So as you can see here, these will fit nicely together. Both of these are already dynamesh together. There is no overlapping, intersecting uh, stuff going on here. So these are still watertight meshes um, ready for 3D printing immediately. Hope you like these tips and as ever, click like and subscribe and all that normal YouTube stuff. Cheers, thanks, bye.